To every homo sapien out there watching this presentation, I want to bid you welcome. This is Ricky Klein, the Cassette Master. And this video will be shown to you a heater. Now, normally my videos are about tape recorders and so forth and also mechanical pencils, but this video where you got an old heater. This is a, well, it's not really that old. It's, it's a modern heater. It's made by Intertech. And it's uh, made in China and uh, 1500 watt heater. It works well. The, uh, the only thing is, is that the uh, the entire thing is cycled. That is, when your thermostat uh, determines that your temperature is set to where you want it to be, the entire thing turns off, fan and heating element. But what I want to be able to uh, switch between having the fan run continuously or cycle and always have the heating element cycle. So, you know, either I would have the fan on all the time while the heating element cycles on and off, or I would have the fan and heating element cycle on and off together like it originally does. So, I want to modify it and add a switch so that I can set the fan to continuous or cycle. So that's what we'll be doing in this presentation. What we're going to need to do is open the device up and we're going to see how it's wired. So let's get out our screwdriver and open up the heater. We'll take the back off the heater. Take off all of its screws. You know, earlier I was impressed by the heater's design because it had a position sensor. If I put it at an angle, it would turn off. Makes sense that these would have position sensors in them to turn them off. Well, I figured out what that position sensor was. Part of the cord here is frayed where it goes in. That's the position sensor. We'll have to fix that problem. Okay, we're about to take the uh, back out now. Wow, very simple construction. Now that motor is 15 watts at 120 volt AC. The motor is the only thing that I'm going to be switching through the switch. I'm going to be doing the math to figure out how many amperes 15 watts is to see if my little bitty toggle switches, which are rated at 6 amps, will be able to pass enough current for the motor. I imagine it is, but I just want to be sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this cord here because of the fact that um, the cord on the back is frayed. I'll have to just cut a section of that cord away and re uh, reinstall that. So I'm just going to cut this right here. And it will also then be easier to um, take the back away to work on this device. And um, also, I apologize, but when I do stuff like this, I like having music on the background, and I just my I just don't feel like turning it off right now. So anyway, I'm also going to go ahead and uh, clip this zip tie to be able to get to these wires easier. And I also, anyway to see how this is wired up and so forth and we'll figure out which one's hot which one's neutral and well I'm sure this is neutral here and this is hot right here so anyway um we'll just be doing this mumble jumble am I right feel it in your bones oh yeah so the little motor inside this device being a mere uh, 15 watts. I did the calculation. The power factor is 1. It's only a uh, 0.125 amps. And as the power factor is 0.1, then it's uh, 1.25 amps. Still well within the range of a 6 amp toggle switch. So no worries using one of my dinky little toggle switches for switching the motor between continuous and cycle. I'm to try to see if I can un uncrimp this right here. I don't know if I really can, but I'd like to take this off, if I can. 
But anyway, the motor wire is going to be disconnected. Oh, not even this motor wire. The other motor wire. <laughs> what am I thinking, man? What am I doing, bro? I just found out it actually does have a position sensor in here. There's this little weight here. Like this. That's the little position sensor for the heater. During my time decoding this schematic, I wanted to make sure that just the neon indicator inside that switch was the way I thought it was. So I hooked up to where I think the connections are for just the neon indicator of this switch. And I have an old Mager that generates a high voltage from a crank generator, which can be used to light it up. You can see it lights it up. Also, you can hear plenty of electrical interference from the high voltage pulses produced by the little generator of the Mager that actually get into the audio itself of the video. It's clipping the mic processor too. It's so strong. And then I keep zooming the wrong way every time. Here's the Mager itself. It's a beautiful piece of equipment. I'll have to make a dedicated video about this sometime. But uh, it's all sealed. It's never been opened before. <laughs> oh man, it's really cool. It's old insulation tester. An old Mager, variable pressure midget Mager type. 50 mega ohms, 500 volts DC. Okay, so here's the original design of this heater. You have your hot and your neutral 120 volt AC. You turn on the neon indicator for the heat light and you have your main thermostat which also acts as your on off switch and your position sensor and after that there's a small thermostat that is built into the heating element housing and then after that after these thermostats then you can turn both your fan on and your heating element most of the elements are right here and there's one small strip of heating element that when you set the switch to high for some reason it, it shorts out this heating element which cuts out some of the resistance which allows a higher uh, current to flow through this main part of the heating element to get it hotter. I'm going to modify it to be like this. So when it's modified, your hot will go. You'll still be able to go through the main thermostat and the element thermostat and control the heating element as before. But the neon indicator inside the switch will only come on when the heating element's turned on to act as an indicator of when the element itself is energized. And the selector switch right here will select your fan motor between continuous, which will just run the fan directly off the AC line, or cycle, which will power the fan only when the heating element is turned on by the thermostat arrangement. Since the fan itself does not draw very much current, one of my dinky little toggle switches can be used, thankfully. I'm just about done rewiring the heater. I just gotta connect the back on. I clipped off the frayed portion, refed the wire through here. I um, I got some wiring here. I got a dinky little toggle switch down there, and I mean dinky. But the current draw from the motor isn't very high. Neon light is powered through here when the heating element is energized. Heating element power can go to the motor or direct to the motor. Yo boon simple. Oh no! The deed has been done. The heater has been modified. If we show the front here, you can see it will find the uh, switch here. Fan, continuous, or cycle. When your thermostat is set all the way down to off, you can turn the fan on by putting it on continuous. Now, notice the light. This heating switch light here. When I change the thermostat, watch.
Give it some time. You know, it could be that position switch, actually. I wasn't thinking about the fact that I have this heater at an angle. So we're going to have to put it vertically. Now, pay attention to the light here. To the thermostat. Heating element turned on. And the light turned on too to show that the element's energized. You can switch its mode, high, or low. But either way, the heating element energization is shown by the light. Now the heating element is off, but the fan still runs. Set it to cycle, and the fan turns off. Then the thermostat will control both the heating element and the fan as it was originally designed. And the position sensor turns the unit off if it falls over. Pretty nifty, eh? Pretty cool, huh? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Of this heater. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys can rat at me all you all you want for the lack of any fuses or the exposed solder joint on the tiny switches or any of that. Rat on me all you want. I don't care. This has been a Cassette Master production.